Right, so this diagram um, attempts to illustrate um, the various different causes for um, vertigo. And what we'll do is we'll remove the labels from the diagram so that the image becomes in many ways clearer. And I'll explain it thoroughly for you. So vertigo, uh, well, vertigo first of all is a type of dizziness where the affected individual um, has the sensation that um, the environment around them is spinning or moving. And verto comes from the Latin to mean a whirling or spinning movement, hence other words such like vertex originate from that. Now vertigo is more common in the elderly and it's more common in women than in men. Generally, uh, it occurs as a result of either a problem with the vestibular apparatus of the ear or with the cerebellum within the brain. Now, vertigo can be subclassified um, in relation to the duration of the vertigo, and that's how this diagram works. So first of all, in the top left, we've got causes which last for just a few seconds. And we'll go through that. So one of the more common causes is something called benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. And that relates to these small bony fragments within the semicircular canals. They're called otoliths and they can cause vertigo. And in actual fact, um, this condition can be treated by means of Epley's maneuver to try to reposition those bony fragments. Another more common cause is post-concussion vertigo and the hammer here hitting the head reminds us to consider that as a potential cause of vertigo lasting for a few seconds. The blood pressure cuff reminds us to consider benign positional um, or benign postural hypotension whereby patients if they get up quickly may experience a drop in blood pressure and can occasionally get vertigo consequently. Other causes include epilepsy, arrhythmias of the heart, TIAs, transient ischemic attacks affecting the cerebellum, and also um, perilymphatic fistulae, so tears within the round or oval windows which cause um, uh, communication between the inner and outer ear. So they're the causes of vertigo which is lasting for just a few seconds. Vertigo which lasts for hours can be caused by, for example, uh, a migraine, illustrated by this red painful haze above the head. It can be caused by pressure within the um, ear, the inner ear itself. Uh, and this is a condition called Meniere's disease, um, where there's swelling and pressure which leads not only to vertigo, but typically to tinnitus or ringing within the ear and also hearing loss as well. And then we've also got um, alcohol consumption as a cause of um, vertigo causing the room to spin around you. Vertigo, which lasts for days, can be caused by a viral infection, which is called uh, vestibular neuritis or acute labyrinthitis. We're talking here about inflammation uh, occurring uh, and causing um, vertigo as a result, and also a stroke affecting the cerebellum. And then finally, um, sorry, just move back there. Um, vertigo, which lasts instead for um, prolonged periods, so for months, for example, can be caused by an acoustic neuroma, illustrated here, which is a benign schwannoma, uh, a nerve sheath tumour uh, affecting the vestibular cochlear nerve. And um, it can also be caused by a tumour within the cerebellum, gradually growing. It can be caused by demyelination. And this, for example, can be caused by multiple sclerosis, MS, a condition associated with chronic autoimmune demyelination uh, within the central nervous system. And then the other um, potential causes of vertigo can relate to this hand, which I think you can just about see at the bottom here, holding tablets and medications. So certain medications, uh, benzodiazepines and various other medications can, as a side effect, cause vertigo. So that's something to consider as well. So that diagram summarises for you all the potential causes in a relatively logical 
fashion and I would hope you can draw on these visual cues to help you to remember all the causes and of course as with all the diagrams, picture and medicine diagrams, you can view them with labels to remind yourself of what these different visual cues mean and I hope you find that helpful.